Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, November. I'm sorry, Wednesday, November 15th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, we talked uh, y yesterday about the, uh, the 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 middle words, right? Uh, and and how um, the, the middle words that are great, they can distract us. They're still great. They're wonderful blessings. We should embrace them and enjoy them. But but keep in the right perspective. Uh, and then those uh, middle words that uh, are hard words, um, uh, they're not the 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 last words. Uh, and, and so we we uh, have to be careful not to let them overwhelm us, right, and, and take us into despair. Because the final word finally is Jesus Christ, and that's what I want to focus a little more today on, just with a couple of these readings, because uh, I, I love these two readings, uh, and, and and this is what they hold up for us. The uh, the end game, so to speak, the end from the beginning, the final word, which is Jesus Christ. So here, here we go. They're both from the book of Revelation. So this is Revelation 1. It says, Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness. We just saw that yesterday. The faithful witness. Where was that? In front of Caiaphas. And in front of Pilate, right? Yes, I am the Son of God. I, I am the Christ, the, the Son of the living God. That was a faithful witness. He'd go to the cross for it, but he knew that cross was just a middle word for him. Final word was a resurrection and, and the kingdom that he would usher in at the end of all things. Okay, so um, this is kind of a, a doxology. Uh, grace, God's uh, undeserved love in Jesus, the shalom, peace, a relationship with God and through him and one another. And then, and from him who is and who was and who is to come, uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, the, the the father and from the seven spirits before his throne seven is the number of completeness this is this is a term for the holy spirit uh, so you have the father the spirit and of course jesus christ and from jesus christ who is the faithful witness as as, as i just talked about um, the firstborn from the dead say that faithful witness he went the way the cross but it wasn't the end game wasn't the final word no 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 the firstborn from the, uh, the from the dead right he rose again on easter morning uh, and the ruler of the kings of the earth he rules all things for the good of his people, for us, and he'll rule into eternity. So then it says, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. And so this is really important for us in the middle words, to in our middle words, to remember, where does our life come from? Right here in Jesus. To him who loved us and who freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. The final word, to serve him. Forever and ever, right now, as we as we join him on his ongoing mission, and forever and ever, that's the final word. And so then it jumps into when he comes in all his glory. Look, he's coming with the clouds. This is the final word again, right? <laughs> and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him. Those who have tied themselves to the earth, not to Jesus Christ, right, will mourn because of him. So shall it be, all men. And then this is Jesus talking. I am the Alpha and the omega, says the Lord God, the final word, the beginning and the end. I'm the final word. That's what he's saying here. Middle words, uh-uh. I'm the final word, not the middle words. This is, I'm the final word. He says, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Awesome stuff, right? And then in Revelation 7, uh, it says, after this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count. Remember, tribe and, I'm sorry, every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. So, again, here's the final word. This is how it's all going to turn out. Uh, the, the people of God, remember, tribe and people and nation and language, right? And, 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 and they're standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. What, what's the Lamb? Well, Jesus, remember the, John the Baptist says, Below, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Old Testament, all the lambs that were sacrificed, uh, for for the the people uh, to to for the forgiveness of their sins, they all pointed to Jesus, right? Uh, and so he's the Lamb of God. So the throne here, he he's he's the one who's on that throne as the Lamb of God who who has gathered his people to himself through the forgiveness of our sins. They were wearing white robes because they're now righteous, washed clean in his blood, and were holding palm branches in their hands, just as he was greeted as as the King coming into. Jerusalem Ham Sunday, we greet him that way. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation, life belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, right? Uh, and the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. The elders here probably represents the church of God, all of us, right? They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. 
Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. The final word, amen. When we get stuck in the middle words, when we're tempted to get stuck in the middle words, maybe um, the good words, we tend to make life all about them and we end up in an empty place then. Uh, instead of just receiving them as blessings of God and 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 uh, and living in them to glorify God, we we make th these things our God's small g, right? And then we we end up empty. Uh, or on the other side, uh, we end up in despair because the hard words. Uh, my prayer is that the Spirit of God will always direct you to the final word, Jesus Christ, and what it means for you. And then empower you to live in that reality. All right. So what, what, would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, uh, we thank you that you're the final word. And for all this means, all that that means, Lord, um, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the final word. You are the one through whose blood we are washed clean. You are the one whose kingdom lasts in eternity. We thank you, Lord, that you brought us into the kingdom through faith in you. And we pray, Lord, that every day you might keep our eyes on that final word and, and so empower us and uh, to live in your kingdom and, and on your ongoing mission until finally you gather us together to yourself. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow yet. May God be with you. Bye-bye.